Hello everybody and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering and this time we're tackling one of the newer engine which was decided upon in a poll I had on Twitter, link is in the description. This is an engine which had some of its cards seen in the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's OVA, Evolving Duel Stardust vs Red Demons. We're going to be talking about the ass Alt Mode Engine. The Assault Mode cards were first released in Crimson Crisis all the way back in 2009. However, the engine was never a thing, at least until 2019 and the release of Dark Neostorm. As a side note, the engine is also in Duel Links. It's available in its entirety in the Structure Deck X King's Resonance. Due to that, it's kind of hidden behind the paywall. I have to say, I was a bit perplexed to say the least when I learned the engine is not that well known. That's why, in order to change that, let's go over the cards used for this engine, after which the basic interaction will be explained. This level 1 tuner is the focal point of this engine. Its ability to revive a monster and change its level gives the engine flexibility in synchro summoning unlike any other. The downside is the fact that Assault Mode Activate has to be kept in hand. It's a bit more bearable in dual links due to the existence of various skills, most notably Switcheroo, which can swap that trap for something else. Assault Beast is the card one will be searching thanks to Cyber Reflector's effect. Its ability to add Assault Mode Activate upon this card perfectly sets up Cyber Reflector's revival effect. This engine, just like few before it, has no competitive presence. Therefore, what I'm going to present is my opinion and shouldn't be taken as final when it comes to its build. Triple Psy Reflector and one of each when it comes to Assault Mode Activate and Assault Beast. The engine can be expanded by adding cards which help establish Psy Reflector as quickly as possible, those cards being Assault Sentinel, 1 for 1, and Emergency Teleport. When it comes to pros of this engine, it's very quick in establishing high level synchro monsters or a Link 2. Its searching capabilities and outside support cannot be ignored as well. Also, for those who didn't get the memo, this engine allows to establish Crystron Halki Fibrax using Emergency Teleport or 1 for 1. It's not something to be taken lightly. When it comes to the downside of this engine, there is one very major. Like most engines in the game, this has a quote-unquote garnet. However, Unlike those, this engine has two. Drawing into either Assault Beast or Assault Mode Activate wildly diminishes the engine's capabilities. When it comes to usage, due to its flexibility, the engine can be part of pretty much every deck. Personally, I'd recommend something more synchro focused, due to the wide range of synchro monsters this engine can provide. And that would be it, at least when it comes to this thing. I personally I think this was mo one of the most interesting episodes of the series thus far. I really like the poll I made, might try it again in the future. Anyway, remember to do the YouTube thing if you liked the video or found it informative. See you next time!